Martin Malmesbury, yes. Yeah, that was more about pronunciation for me. Uh, with uh, Robin Eyre. I'm a uh, farm manager of Charlton Park Estate. It's a privately owned estate by the Earl of Suffolk and Berkshire. We are in Malmesbury, North Wiltshire, right on the Gloucester border, so border's just over the edge there. It's a stunning estate, um, very diverse. We've got residential, commercial, everything. Um, it's a yeah, brilliant place to work. This is this is our real results field. It's um, sort of fairly standard for us. It's brashy on this side play up on the top, top corner, irregular shape, telegraph poles through the middle, so everything you want for sort of efficient farming. Yeah. Um, and uh, it just sort of helps us do a trial on, on land that is variable like this because we can then see actually how the impact over the whole estate. So we should get really, really cracking results hopefully. You've been involved right from the beginning. Yep, no, um, have so been. So our third, third year of, uh, of real results this year. What you're current thinking about next year without chlorophyll? Um, I was saying earlier on, this year we haven't put any T noughts on, so we're trying to grow without T noughts. Um, we've had quite a fair bit of rain. We've got to be able to um, adjust, so I, I roughly know what we're going to do in December on a crop because it's a siskin or lily or x days, yeah. or, and you know what that crop, crop's strength and weaknesses are. So you know where you're starting, you know when you've drilled it, so you've got a rough idea of where that disease profile is. Did you have some big kit here? Uh, no, not overly big. Um, got a, uh, a wheeled tractor for um, primary cultivations, so yeah. just a, a set of discs, which then turns around and pulls the drill. Um, and then we have a trailed sprayer, which does all the liquid and fert. Where do you see your biggest challenges going forward? So taking the public on board mm. and trying to combat the NGOs where they're attacking our practices, where in 95% of the UK ag are very, very good. Yeah and they do the job properly. We need to up our game on the media stakes, um, probably all invest more time in speaking to the public. Um, we visit the local primary school once or twice a year and talk to yeah. them all about farming, how it links in every aspect from growing Christmas trees to a crop of wheat. Our core thing is profitability, it's looking after the environment, um, and I suppose the next step for that is actually looking after one another. <coughs> and trying to sort of implement a, a work basis where we try not to work weekends. Um, and that's really come into its own since we've gone to liquid fertilizer because of historically it rained in the week and then you'd have to try and get all the spraying and fertilizing done over the weekends. Um, whereas now we're getting a couple of days where it could be raining, we can go out and do some liquid fertilizer, Monday, Tuesday, for example, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, if the grey stages are right, we can go uh, go spraying. I mean, it puts it puts pressure on the machinery, but it's designed to do it, and um, yeah, we make it work. So, I wish you luck for the rest of the season. Superb. Thank Cheers. you very much. Thank you. B A S F. We create chemistry.